Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm on to the next project, and what I'm gonna do is build a backdrop for the stage at my church. I'm gonna use a wood frame with chloroplast as the filler. Kinda of hard to explain, I'm just gonna to have to show you. So I'm gonna get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, square off the end of the board so everything's nice and neat and square. Uh, we will see if we can fit it in here. Pull the miter saw out a little bit. And we're gonna get started and we're gonna measure each piece out. What I'm gonna need is four foot lengths except for the bottom is gonna be three foot. Uh, so I'll make uh, six four foot cuts and uh, the rest will be three foot. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill everything. I'm gonna square everything up first. Uh, I'm gonna just use screws on it. I'm not gonna bother gluing it. It should hold it tight enough. So here we go. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill in the front holes on the bottom here, uh, right there, because 
with some plastic wood because those are gonna be facing the stage and the bright lights are gonna be on them so we don't wanna see the screw holes. The rest of them, I'm just gonna paint over to kinda of hide them a little bit, but we don't have to worry about them being perfect because they're gonna be behind the uh, whole backdrop anyway. So I'm just gonna fill these in with plastic wood real quick and then I'll touch up the paint. And then uh, we'll move on to putting the chloroplast on. So the next step is we want to cut the chloroplast. Uh, this is four feet. So we want to go four and a half feet so we can bow one out and one in. It's pretty simple to cut. You just use a straight edge um, and a utility knife. Just measure out what you need. We're gonna go one foot wide uh, pieces. And at the bottom, the piece will be two and a half inches uh, narrower to make up for the frame. Uh, one thing you wanna make sure is that, that you do not uh, kneel or step on the chloroplast. It does dent. Um, so I usually just kneel on the, on the board as I'm cutting it. Works out real well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and uh, staple this to uh, the front of the frame. The best thing I found to use was 18 gauge staples in the uh, Brad Nailer. So uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna hold it straight and I'm gonna try and get it right on there. A little tough to do it alone, but I think I can get it done.
Okay, so that's one of them finished. Basically, that's what it's gonna look like. But once we get it on stage, there'll be an up light down the center and then the spotlight uh, from our lighting in the sanctuary that we can do several different colors on the same backdrop. We're gonna do six of them across. Uh, this one's gonna be four foot, two four foots on the end, then six foot and then two eight foot in the middle. And it should be a nice stage. So uh, looking forward to seeing uh, what it looks like all put together. So a couple more to build and uh, I'll uh, get it all set up. Okay, there it is. It's all set up at the church. Looks real good. The backdrop worked out perfectly. Hey, listen, join us for the next project. Please like and subscribe. God bless.